Oh, who's this little moosh sitting on my bright pad thingy? I just finished my live stream and I drew this art, which took a long time. I hate drawing geometric things like the camera. And I started outlining it. Minush came to visit. Now I want to continue recording though because I sort of re recorded a little bit and then I stopped. And then I'm gonna record this portion. And so I'm gonna wait till after lunch to do that. I'm pretty much just gonna be working on that the whole day, just working on that art. I re-dyed my hair this morning. I just spritzed it with a spray bottle so that it was a little bit damp. I'm trying to move out of the direct light. It was just a little patchy, especially this side of my head. The top layer was whiter than the rest of my hair. And so that was that's what was bugging me the most. And it was just a little bit pale overall in general. So I'm liking it more now. I think I might have to get curtains because while I was recording today, the sun kept coming out from behind the clouds and then my hand would cast a shadow on the artwork. And so I think I will have to get some curtains because even with the blinds down, it affects things. It's nice having some natural light peeping through, but for filming, it's not ideal. And speaking of filming, I have a camera coming in the mail today. I really wish it was already here because I could be using it for this video. Right now I'm using my vlog camera for side angles for videos and I'm just never happy with how the footage looks. And so I try not to include too many side angles, but I'm getting a second proper camera and that should be good. I can have the top down view and the side view being recorded continuously. And then when I edit, I can just flip flop, just cut between them as I choose. There'll still be some camera work involved, like filling with the cameras because I will have to sometimes zoom in and whatnot. So it's not like I'm just gonna set the cameras and forget about it, I still have to think about it. But I think it'll help a lot. And it's something I've been wanting for a long time and I got a good deal on my camera, so good. See my eyelids right now? That's what I get for using the stupid Kat Von D eyeliner this morning. I only use it when I'm in a rush, but it's not worth it. Like, look, look at this. Disgusting. My camera came. So I got the Canon EOS M50 and I got a battery pack thing, like an AC adapter so it can be plugged in at all times for continuous battery power. Kiki, do you have to be up in front of everything? You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. Now scooch. Oh, look at this user manual. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I got a strap, a battery, which I guess I don't need. <laughs> a charger for the battery, and the camera. As you can see, it's really tiny. Some people actually use this camera for vlogging. Oh my god. So much smaller than my current one. The other one's the Canon 70D. And then for vlogging, I have the G7X Mark II. Whoa. That wouldn't be too bad to vlog with. Might look a bit big with the lens. Wait. <gasps> oh, I was like, isn't this supposed to come with a lens? <laughs> I was so concerned. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's gonna look bigger with the lens on it. <sighs> See, this wouldn't be too bad to vlog with. I don't want something this big for vlogging. I'm holding out for the G7X Mark III, but for filming art videos, this is exactly what I wanted. It's just something kind of small that I could film from the side with.
feels so light because it's pretty much an empty battery. Even my other one is heavier than this for my bigger camera. This is pretty big though, so this doesn't close then. My other camera, it has a little place to feed the cable out, like a rubber thing you can pop off. But this is different. This just sticks right in there. Where does this come out? Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I figured it out. Okay. So you fully close this. Then there's a little slot here where this plugs in. Awesome. Okay. Figured it out. The new camera is working well. I have a good chunk of the art finished, but there's more left to do. I am just gonna stop for tonight though, because I'm trying not to work late into the night. So I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Stripey. It's now Sunday and I just made myself some lunch and I'm gonna finish up my art. I uh, yesterday I ended up going out to a friend's place. We just went to a bar by their place and also to their apartment and it was a good time. And so now I need to finish up my video. I turned the blinds, let some sun in, and suddenly they're all interested in, whoa, no feline centipedes up here, okay? Thanks. The new art room is developing its first ever mess. Oh no, I need to stay on top of that. I think I will be more on top of it in this room because I'm not going to have as many surfaces. With my old desk, the one side of the desk didn't serve a purpose other than to hold stuff and so I kept throwing stuff over there and it would just be like a mound and now I don't have as many options like I have this space which I need for filming so I keep it mainly clear unless I'm working on something and hopefully I don't start piling stuff on there in between filming I just have to constantly film and then I won't have that problem <laughs> here I'm getting a few things mainly this is a bunch of oil paints I haven't put away yet because I just got these and a few other knickknacks from when I unpacked and just threw it over here but this stuff down here needs to find a home there's some cardboard that needs to go in the recycling and all that I gotta put away my new camera parts it's just a few things here and there. That's right there. I need to do this. Exhibit B. He just loathed at work. The art for my video is completed and now I'm gonna start editing. I wanna at least just trim up the clips today and then I can do the voiceover stuff tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. probably should clean this surface off. <laughs> okay, don't knock the lamp over. Oh my god. I'm still getting used to this whole setup. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Okay, well, I didn't ask for your help, Google, but thanks anyway. <sighs> I guess I can shut some of these studio lights off. Okay. This will be interesting because it's the first time I've had two cameras filming the whole time. I think there was, well actually not the whole time because I started filming it before my camera came. But you know what I mean, it's the first time having two cameras recording simultaneously I guess. Other than times where I was doing an art cam and a face cam. If I had both cameras the entire time this probably would have been a little easier to edit. But I think it should still be okay. I'm excited to see what the footage looks like from the new camera. It looked really good on the screen, but maybe just because it has a nice screen. <laughs> the side angles in general can be nicer looking than the top down ones because when the camera's looking top down, the paper does have some sheen to it. It is reflecting the light a little bit. That's why at the end of my videos, when I'm showing the final art, I tilt it forward and back so that you can see it from like straight on but then I tilt it a bit so you can see what it looks like without the glare. So that's the nice thing about the side angles is you just don't have that glare at all. Plus you can see under the hand easier, especially if it's something like inking where I hold my pen very vertically, then my hand is usually blocking what I'm doing from a top-down view, but the side view shows all of it. I feel like this art is just so me, it's just I don't know, it just it matches some of my favorite art pieces that I've done. Clip trimming is 
done. And that includes like rotating clips and color correction, things like that. Not that I'm good at color correction, but I try a little bit. It's tricky when you have two different cameras and you don't want the colors to look different when you cut between the two. Might take some trial and error with the camera settings, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch Outlander now. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. My mom's dog, Sadie. She's so cute. She's a Cairn Terrier just like Maddie was and she's just so adorable and I had to film a little clip of her to include. Mm -hmm.